What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a Bramble Gas Series 2 team that features Fluttermane and Great Tusk. You guys are in a new deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing on the channel? Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button. We are pushing 20,000 subscribers. And I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support that has been going out on this channel. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm going to keep pumping them out for you guys. But like I said, we got Bramble Gas today. And Bramble Gas is one of those Pokemon that I haven't really seen too much on the rank ladder and haven't used myself. But with this team synergy, it feels like it could definitely be strong and it can grab us some wins. But Fluttermane is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Starting off in that lovely little top left hand corner. This one has Protosynthesis and the Life Orb as item. It's got Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Protect, and Substitute. Great Tusk is going to be our second Pokemon. And every time I use this Pokemon, it does so well. It really does. It's very bulky. Hits like a truck. This one has Weakness Policy, so if we could proc that, this thing could hit even harder. There's Protosynthesis as its ability. Headlong Rush, Close Combat, EQ, and Protect for its moveset. Killer Watch is going to be our third Pokemon, and this bird is very strong on the special attacking side. And this one has Wind Power as its ability. So if we can get Jump Bluff to use Tailwind, Wind Power is going to boost its special attack, and we're going to thrive out from there. It has Magnet as its item, Electro Ball, Protect, Thunderbolt, and Hurricane. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Bramble Gas, and like I already mentioned, Bramble Gas is one of those Pokemon that I have not used on the rank ladder, so I do not know what to expect from it. But this team synergy seems very, very well. It has Wind Rider as its ability. It's got Choice Band as its item, so both of those can boost attack. And then we got Terror Blast, Phantom Force, Power Whip, and Shadow Sneak. Great move set for this Pokemon. All stab moves. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be Torkoal. Torkoal seems to thrive with this team for three reasons. A, it's Weather Control with Drought as its ability. B, it can pop Protosynthesis for Great Tusk and Fluttermane. And then, for our final reason, it can proc Chlorophyll for a Jump Bluff, making it double its speed, outspeed most Pokemon, and then I can put Pokemon to sleep, or even set up Tailwind Control. So I'm loving Torkoal here. I am really liking Torkoal. It has Eject Pack as its item, Heat Wave, Overheat, Earth Power, and Helping Hand. Final Pokemon is going to be Torkoal's best friend. It is going to be Jump Bluff over here with Chlorophyll, like we already mentioned, and the Covert Cloak as its item. It's got Fairy Wind, Tailwind, Sleep Powder, and Rage Powder for its moveset. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Bramble Gas off meta series two team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our first match, going up against some meta Pokemon right here. We're going up against a Fluttermane and Don Dozo team with King Gambit, Dragonite, Iron Moth, and last but not least, they are rocking out with a Tasugiri for that Don Dozo. But they also have the Iron Moth and Fluttermane combo, which I showcased in the last video. Very, very strong. So I have to watch out for that. But speed is going to be our friend. And do we have any way of taking off the what's it called? The stats on Don Dozo? Because that seems like it could be a problem. That seems like it could be a problem. We might just have to put it to sleep and kind of just get after it. But Bramble Gas might be that guy to get after that Pokemon. Very high physical attack stat. Wow. And then give it Wind Rider and Choice Band. Might be our best bet here. He might just be our best bet. So I am going to go... Jump off right off the rip. I might even go with Chlorophyll to get ripped with that. But that thing's pretty fast on its own. It is pretty fast on its own. And what is your Terra? It's going to be dark. That's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. But I'll take Torkoal and I'll take Jump Bluff just to get the speed rolling and then go from there. And then Bramble Gas. And last but not least, do I go Fluttermane or Great Tusk? I'm thinking Fluttermane gets a bit of more value out of it. I mean, what's Great Tusk is, yeah, round. It's going to be its Terra type. I don't really like that. I think I'm going to go Fluttermane. I think I'm going to bring the Flutz. Flutz is just too good. It really is. But our one problem here is going to be Don Dozo. It is going to be a problem, but hopefully Bramble Gas can, you know, hold its own. Maybe Wind Rider gets that attack boost. Get after the battle that way. I'm with it. But it, we're, we're just going to hope for the best and say that he doesn't bring it. But it's definitely coming in here. It is definitely coming in here. Let's see your opponent ends up leading. Yep, Tatsugiri. Alongside with the Fluttermane. Uh, this is terrifying. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Um, hmm. Hmm. Protosynthesis is here. So we just pop Protosynthesis. Their speed's heightened. Uh, we should still outspeed it. Be able to set up a Tailwind. And I really just want to overheat this slot, right? I have a Jack Pack and I could swap out after that. I'll set up a Tailwind. We do have Fairy Wind. Doesn't do too much here, but it's, 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 it's a move. <laughs> it's a move. And we're just going to set up a Tailwind here. Yo, know, Shiny Jump Off looks tough. Nice pink. Woo. Looking, looking spiffy, eh? Looking real good. 
Looking real good. But your boy right now, I'm a little tired right now. I had an early hockey game today. Our brand new season just started up. It was our first game of the season. We won 3-2. I had a, I think it was, uh, what time was this start? Like 8-15. So I was, I was up early, like I said. I was up early. We won 3-2. I scored with like three minutes left to tie the game. And then my boy scored the uh, game winning goal. And we're thriving from there. So one and no start for season. I know you guys like to keep the updates on that. But Tassie Gary protects. Mystical Fire does come through here. But we do set up Tailwind, which I absolutely love. So Tailwind came out and about. Jump left. I don't really need you. I don't really need you. You were kind of just there. I was going to start Rage Powder now after that. But Overheat's going to fly here. And this should bring this thing down to Sash, right? Oh, not even. Wow, that thing soaked really well. Really, really well. A little bit too well. But we end up eject packing out. And we are going to go into Bramble Gas and our Fluttermane. That actually works out really well. Because now I can just Moonblast the right slot. Actually, I'd rather Dazzle Gleam so the Don Dozo wouldn't dodge it. So now we can just Dazzle Gleam and pop a uh, Power Whip if he wants to swap into Don Dozo. I feel like that's pretty good because Bramble Gas should be able to outspeed. Fluttermane's got his Pro Synthesis popping and my Special Attacks boost. I'm loving it. And Wind Riders here, which is great. So that boosts my attack stat plus one. I have the Choice Band on top of that. And I could Thrasalize the Fire if I want to. Could be really good. But yeah, I'm just going to Power Whip this slot. It just seems like the play. But the only problem with Power Whip is the accuracy. But I'm still going to whip it. Because I do think Don Dozo is going to come out here. And I'm just going to throw up a Dazzle Gleam. Or I could set up a sub. I could set up a sub. Because I do think he's going to swap in Don Dozo. So I'm going to set up a sub here. Yep, there's a swap. So I'm going to be able to get off a substitute here. I'm going to be able to Power Whip this thing. And we're going to see how much damage we can actually do here. So I'm Choice Banded into this. I'm choice banded. So we read the swap, we get off a free sub, and we're gonna hope that this power whip actually lands. We need you landing power whip. It's the only problem with power whip. Such a strong move. Base 120 power, but it's actually it's rather low. It is rather low. Sub suit comes out here. Great read from us. Now we got Flutter Main right behind a sub suit. And we have speed for a couple turns, which is good for us. Power whip's going to miss, which honest to god sucks. That's really bad. Because he might even uh I could Phantom Force this thing. Dodge a move. Oh no, I'm choosing the power whip, which is fine. I mean, I wonder what Terra type it has. But I just feel like we just start Moonblasting the slot down. Get off as much damage as we possibly can. And there's Terrestrialization. Hurts the soul a little bit. But we'll deal with it. That's why I really want to land that power whip right there. So he ends up Terrestrializing straight in the dragon. I am shooting fairy shots at him, so this is good from both ends. This is good for both ends. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Moonblast gonna fly. We got sub set up. Ooh, I'm liking this. Oh my, did we, did we crit? Did we crit or did we just dump on that thing? Yo, Life Form flooded me? Just ripped into that. And now Tatsugiri's gonna have to take this uh, power whip if we can land it. Can you land us please, Nagyu? Yes, let's go, Bramble Gas. Bramble Gas whipping into that thing. Trigger and Focus Ash, and now we are thriving. This is pretty much GG's. This is pretty much GG's. This, this combo is low-key, or this team is low-key scary. Wow, I can't believe we dumped on... I never dumped on a Don Dozo in one shot. I never did. I never did, but he ends up going into... He ends up going into uh, Iron Moth. I feel like here I could swap and just get Torkoal back out here, just so I have my choice band back. Would be my best bet. Do I do that? I still have my sub too, which is big time. I think this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to swap into my Torkoal here just so I have my choice band back, play it safe. And I could just gleam across the board. Gleam's going to be a play. I'm just going to save my Terrasalization. Might need it for Bramby. Might need it for Bramby. So we have sub this turn. Tasugiri should not get off a turn. It's not even choice scarfed. And I think we're, I think we're going to be fine here. The Tassel Gear goes for Protect. It actually can't Protect because it Protected a while ago. That's wild. It Protected a while ago, so that acted as a double Protect. It Protected before it went into Don Dozo's mouth. So we take out the Tassel Gear. We chip up a little bit of damage on Iron Maul. I feel like the Iron Maul just pops like a Heat Wave or something, right? And then my Torkoal soaks. My sub goes away. But then we still outspeed. We're still thriving. I wonder me dodge it too, so I still have Substitute. <laughs> I still have Substitute. My Tailwind's gone. And Iron Moth ha actually might be faster than, uh... Iron Moth might be faster than, uh... My Fluttermane. Their Fluttermane's gonna be faster on the field. 
Their flutter main is definitely fast on the field. And let me see. Let me see your speed real quick. I could terrasize here. I think I am gonna terrasize. Do I want to terrasize? Not really. Not really. I'm just gonna go for. Uh, actually, let's go for an earth power here. Four times super effective on that, and then just clean cross. I like that. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. The so shadow ball is gonna fly here. That is going to take off my sub. No problem. And again, I'm hoping that Fluttermane just outspeeds. We are hoping that Flutz outspeeds. Do you? And we don't. You actually probably die, right? Yeah, Fluttermane dies to that. Which I still think we're sitting in a decent spot because I have Terrasalization for my Bramble Gas. And Earth Power should be able to chuck up some nice damage here. Yeah. Still game. It is still wraps. It is still wraps. G to the Gs. Let's get it. Let's go. Torkoal comes back. Big time KO onto the uh, the Iron Moth. And everything works out perfectly. We get to bring out Bramble Gas, who hasn't taken a hit of damage yet. I'm liking it. I'm loving this team, yo. Bramble Gas is, is a man. Look at him. Little tumbleweed dude. Little tumbleweed dude. We will go into an Earth Power, consider the accuracy is higher, and I really don't want to miss. So I'm just going to Earth Power you, and then there's no, there's really no need to Thrash Slides. We're just going to straight up Shadow, shadow Sneak. If I want to really play it safe. I would terrestrialize, but we outspeed with Shadow Sneak, and it's just game set match. So choice band, Shadow Sneak, stab coming out here. Super effective as well. No chance that Flutter made surviving it. And what a first match for you guys. Showcase this team really well. Let's hop into a second match. Look to go 2 0. Match number two coming at you guys. Let's go back to back here. Going up against a Pinchurchin and Iron Hands team alongside with Kilowattrel. And then he has Gastron, Mimikyu, and Armour. So Trick Room seems like it's probably coming out here. I don't really have any way of countering Trick Room with this team. But Great Tusk could be solid. Great Tusk could be pretty good here. Right? Uh, I'm kind of liking Great Tusk. It's, it's decently fast, but EQ's all day. I'm liking it. Torkoal's going to be solid here. I could also bring Bramble Gast. With no tailwinds, not too bad. I mean, it's kind of fast. It's low key fast. Like, some of these Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet are low key fast when they don't seem too fast, you know? So, I do think Trick Room is probably going to come out here. Fake Out could also come out here. So, I kind of want to go into Bramble Gas as a nice little lead. They could try, or they won't even fake me out. And I could actually go in with Fluttermane as well. Just to dodge the Fake Out. It seems like the play. It seems like the play, right? I'm all about it. So, I'm going to lead uh, Bramble Gas. Alongside Fluttermane, I'm going to bring Great Tusk, and I'm going to also bring in Torkoal. Because it 100% it, it seems like Trick Room, right? Trick Room seems like the play. We're not going to bring anything in for Speed Control or anything. We're just going to go for big damage, have Torkoal on the back end. Be our slow guy to help us out in Trick Room a little bit. I'm with it. I'm all bad at you. I'm feeling good today. I actually wasn't going to record because it's Super Bowl Sunday. Actually, let me know who you guys should want to win and who you guys think is going to win in the comment section down below. For me, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with the birds. I'm rolling with the eagles. I live around eagle country. Everybody from my town's eagles fan. And we're partying tonight. We're partying tonight. I'm, I'm right near Philly, so if eagles do win, I think we might go into Philly, which is wild. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let me know who you guys are doing. Who you guys are rooting for. But they're going to lead Arm Rouge and Mimikyu. And I'm super effective on the booth. And I kind of just want to straight up shadow sneak in this slot. And maybe moon blast it down. Actually, I don't want to do that. Actually, we're just gonna fan of force here. I'm just gonna fan of force. He can get off the trick room if he wants to. They can get off trick room if they want to. I wish I wish I had him. I wish uh, Bramble Gas went second. I really did. But I, there's no way I can go second with a ghost move at least. He's gonna end up terrasalizing in this straight grass. I mean, that's not a bad call. I mean, I am fan of forcing into that slot, but still. That's fine. Gleam's gonna fly here. Actually doing a huge chunk of damage to Armourers. A big time chunk of damage. And then Q's gonna lose his guys. So he's gonna have a Citrus Berry here, which is really gonna help him out. And I think he just dumps on my Bramble Gas with like an Armor Cannon, but I am dipping. That's why I'm dipping. That's, that is exactly why I'm dipping. So I'm out of here. This hits to Protect too, which is really good. And no, he just goes for a straight Expanding Force in that, which we dodge. The Trick Room comes out and about. Uh, I could protect this turn, which I'm thinking of doing. Just wasting out Trick Room turns. Maybe bring out Torkoal at this point. But I just think using a protection would be a play. So I'm just going to protect up. Have the moves coming in here. Then Bramble Gas should go last. And hopefully take out Armors. Bramble Gas is choice. 
each choice, and that is sad. That's a big time stab damage. That's not a bad. That's not a bad play from us. If he does double down in here, and we get off some free damage, some lovely free damage. Phantom Force coming out here, and ooh, so close to KO. So close to KO. And I'm thinking of just swapping you, right? To Twerkle. I think I just swapping Bramble Gas, right? Swap Bramble Gas, Terrasalize here, and then Gleam. Seems like my play. It seems like the best play. Considering I can really use Bramble Gas in the back end, and if I can Terrasalize here, I should be able to uh, survive and then pick up some KOs. Because I doubt they double down on the Flutter Man. I really do. I feel like somebody has to go after Bramble Gas here. I feel like somebody has to go after that Bramble Gas slot. And now we Terrasalize. All right, so Trick Room turns we're wasting out pretty good. We have Torkoal for next turn, which is amazing. Unless they bring me down low enough to Shadow Sneak me with Mimikyu. Other than that, I like where we're sitting. I don't. I think we're doing good. <laughs> I think we're doing good. <laughs> but Fluttermane's going to harass Slides. Armor Cannon has come out here. That's going in Torkoal, 100%. A great swap from us. That still did a ridiculous amount of damage. An absurd amount of damage. That did an absurd amount of damage. Shadow Claws can come in here. And this is exactly why we thrashed last, because we would have died to that Shadow Claw. So now Dazzling Gleam comes out here. Lovely. And oh, so close to killing the Mimikyu. So close to killing the Mimikyu. And I just think I Heat Wave out, right? He does have Shadow Sneak. He was Shadow Sneaking to me. I might I might even protect this turn again, depending on how many Trick Room turns are left. Torkoal's looking good here. Nice turn from Torkoal. Oh, actually, Pinchurchin. Yo, Pinchurchin coming out here. Pinchurchin might be slower than Torkoal. Because Pinchurchin is real slow. That's like the... He's the slow boy. He's slower than slow. Pinchurchin is slower than slow. Let me see your speed, Torkoal. He, Torkoal might be slower. I'm really hoping Torkoal is. I'm not going to heat wave and I'm just going to go for a moon blast here. Actually, let me see how many turns are left in Trick Room. Let me see Trick Room turns. Two. Yeah, I'm gonna attack this turn instead of protect him. Wait, who do I have in the back end? And Tusk. Tusk has protect. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna protect this turn. I'm gonna play safe. Play safe. Ends up withdrawing the Mimikyu. And who do you go into from here? Maybe potentially Iron Hands? It is gonna be Iron Hands. So Iron Hands is gonna take a quick drive. It's gonna save Mimikyu for the back end. Okay. Can you go first, Torky? Can you go first, Torky? Or maybe Pinchurchin just goes after Fluttermane. Just for just straight discharge. Hmm, can you eat that up, Torkoal? I don't know if you can. Eat it up, baby. Torkoal, my man! You got paralyzed, but I need you to just land this one heat wave. Just one. That's all I need from you. I love you. I love this turtle. I love this turtle. Give me some burns. Any burns? No burns. No burns. But that actually makes me slower, which I really, really like. And I, that kind of allowed me just to straight up. I could overheat. I'm trying to calculate what's going to do more damage here. Because we do have Earth Power, which is super effective on the both. And he can fake out either of my Pokemon. Hmm. I mean, Trick has gone after this. I'm just going to go for the Earth Power here. Actually, overheat does more. Overheat does do more in the sun. So I'm going to go for the overheat. And then, if I can, I'd, I would like to land a Moonblast, but I feel like he just fakes out and takes out my Torkoal, right? No, you take out my Fluttermane. I'm... Thank you. Thank you. The smart play would have been to fake out the Torkoal. Because Torkoal is now slower than Pinch Urchin due to the Paralyze. And now we get off a free shot. Lovely. Come KO? We do. Big time KO. Big time KO. I got Bramble Gas out here now. And I still have to I get Torkoal for another turn. That's lovely. That's lovely. And I have a Jack Pack. Actually, so I'll have Torkoal later again. But from here, Trick Room's gone, and it seems free to just bring out Great Tusk. And I can EQ if I want to. And I can bring back out Torkoal. I can bring right back out the turtle. But Trick Room is gone, so Torkoal does not have another turn. I forgot about that. But I, I, I really like where we're sitting. I really like where we're sitting. Our opponent doesn't have Terrasalize either. And he quits the battle. And he quits the battle. We love it. 
We love it. We have that one on lock. I believe they quit the battle there. But if they didn't, we still had that win. So I'm counting as win because I had my, my great tusk there. They had Mimikyu on low HP. Bramble Gas could just shadow sneak the Mimikyu at any time. And I just pop a big time headlong rush from Great Tusk into uh, Iron Hands. It's game set match. So guys, our opponent ended up DQing in that last battle. We got the win. Awesome. Dope. Cool. We're sitting at 2-0. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. Playing really well with this team. I'm loving this team so much. But they have Talonflame here for Speed Control. Alongside with that Dreaded, Indeedy, and Armourish combo. So strong. Gotta watch out for that. They also have Deli Bird. Well, I should say Iron Bundle. That Pokemon's ridiculously good. And then uh, Salamence. And Fluttermane. Can't forget about Fluttermane. But who should I lead? How should I play this one? Like I said, they have Talonflame. So Talonflame seems like it's going to be a little bit of a problem for Speed Control. But I think just going Torkoal and Jump up here. Setting up the Tailwind and going from there. It's a decent play for us. It definitely is. And if they want to pop Trick Room with Armor Rouge and Edie, that's also fine. Because I got my Torkoal out here. So I like these two here. I am going to bring Kilowatch or do I bring Brambi? I think Kilowatch is a little bit better than Bramble Gas. And then last but not least, Fluttermane could come out here. I do also like Great Tusk. I might want to... Oh, I want to bring so many Pokemon. I really do. I really do. Do we bring Great Tusk or Fluttermane? Tough. This is real tough. I'm leaning a bit more towards Great Tusk here. Actually, no. We got to bring Fluttermane. Deli Bird's too much of a problem. <laughs> Deli Bird is too much of a problem. It would just rip into my... uh, Rip into my uh Great Tusk. It'll rip into him. But yo, I love Bramble Gas today's video. Had a lot of fun using them. A lot of fun. Got him out there with that Wind Rider. Got that attack boost. Slapping into Pokemon. He was really good. I was a big fan of him today. Big fan of Bramble Gas. I always love using off-meta Pokemon and having them do good. It just makes my my day. But of course, they end up leading Arm Rouge and uh, Indeedee. Kind of sucks. But I could put them to sleep if I want to. I could put them to sleep. But I'm thinking of just overheating into the Indeedee and Jack packing out. And then just setting up a tailwind. It seems like it seems like the right play, right? Seems like the best play. Because Torkoal will go last in these turns. Unless it dies to expanding force. But if it goes last, it can overheat and then it check pack out and the Pokemon that comes in it can be safe. But he protects. Are you popping a trick room? No, he's still protecting, okay. He's still protecting. He's still protecting. So, hmm. From here, I want to try to put the arm roost to sleep. I really do. I really do because now he can pop a trick room. So I'm just gonna go for another overheat. And, hmm. And I guess we'll just go try to put this thing to sleep. We're hoping Follow Me's not coming out here. So he's going to be able to pop a trick room. He's going to cancel that out. And I could... No, I can't leave Torkoal in here anymore. Sleep powders. Going to... They're going to dodge it regardless. Okay, that's fine. And... Oh, that kind of hurts. That kind of hurts because this thing's dropping expanding force. But Torkoal is going to be able to overheat. Did I miss that? Bro. Come on now. Come on with that. That ain't cool. I got a helping hand here. That ain't cool at all. That ain't cool at all. I'm gonna help hand sleep powder. It does nothing, but uh, it's better than nothing because my Torkoal just dies here. Of course, this is lovely. This is just lovely. Miss a sleep powder, miss an overheat. Isn't everything just great? Sleep powder lands, which is good. Can help out my back end Pokemon. Try to try to get something cooking. But we'll see how this one plays. You can go for another expanded force. That's an easy double kill. All right. So we're sitting in a tough spot. Two miss attacks do me dirty. The miss attacks definitely do me dirty. But we have indeed to sleep. We did no <laughs> damage so far. And we're going to get after it. We got Kilowatch. We're going to get that wind power, which is nice. And we have my Fluttermane, which is lovely. A little bit of Flutz action. The so Fluttermane here, ready to go. Spanning Force is looking terrifying. But I think we just double down on Armourage, correct? Seems like our best bet, because indeed he is asleep. I'll double down into you. And I have, uh, don't I have wind power here? Don't I have wind power? Doesn't wind power boost my, it boosts, a, uh, okay, it boosts wind moves. I thought it boosts special attack, right? I oh, know it boosts electric moves. 
Okay, cool. So I'll go into Thunderbolt here. I'll send it this way. And I think I might just gleam here or do I Moonblast? I'm gonna gleam just in case the uh, armor is protects. And DD is slumped, looking for that follow me. Now we're gonna get after his armors. Nope, he ends up protecting. So this is exactly why I went for a gleam. So he's just trying to waste out the sleep turns, the tailwind turns, all that good stuff. And we're gonna chip up some damage onto Indeedee right here. So Indeedee takes a huge chunk of damage. Another Gleam will KO that, which is which is lovely. Thunderbolt is going to get blocked, and now we just go from there. I'm terrified of that uh rain right there. My tailwind's gone. We still have speed, it's no problem. And I just do the same thing. I just do the same exact thing. The Gleam will KO Indeedee. I kind of hope it just goes for a follow me waste of turn like that. And I'm, I don't know. I don't think we have enough power to KO the armors. The last thing I wanted to do was get off another expanded force. So Indeedee's still asleep, which is big time. Dazzling Gleam is going to come out here. Dazzling Gleam should KO the Indeedee, no problem. So cool, we don't get swept. And we do a nice chunk to armors. That's a decent chunk for a not very effective shot. And now kill the Watcher. Hit this thing, get a crit. Help me out here. Get some big time damage here. Thunderbolt comes out here. Oh, so close. Give me the para. No para. And he gets off another expanding force. So tough. Oh my god. It just rips into me. Dude, that combo is so good for no reason. So good for no reason. And the match is pretty much over. I lose my pro synthesis. If I use a move, I pretty much die, right? But I probably should have protected both turns. I should have protected that turn. And the reason I should have protected it was to waste out that terrain. That could have been good, but I'm going to end up running this one. Two missed attacks in the beginning, one misplay there without protecting. Should have had my knowledge up, and we end up losing the, our third and final battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a 2-1 winning record with this off-meta team. I absolutely had a blast playing this one. We got the Fluttermane out there, the Killer Watchel, the Jump Bluff, Torkoal, and the Bramble Gas. The Bramble Gas was so much fun to use. I thought it was awesome with the Choice Band. Its attack set is actually really high, which I never knew, so this thing was hitting like a truck. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.